I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God put this right here on my heart and I just want to be obedient and share it with you. God wants to talk to you. God wants to spend time with you. This is your sign, man. If you're looking for a sign, this is it. It's not by accident, incident, or coincidence. It's by the providence of God that you're right here on this video. Because let me tell you something. If God can do it for anybody, he can do it for you. If he can do it anywhere, he can do it right here. If he can do it at any time, he can do it right now. Let me tell you how powerful the word of God is, how it can change your life. God's word can make an incision with precision that'll lead you to make the decision to choose to step out and walk by faith because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In other words, faith comes. So when faith comes, you got to be able to receive it. The same way with that baseball field, see that baseball field, the same way on that baseball field, you can have a dude that's a pitcher, right? Who's standing on the mound and you have a catcher back there. Well, when the pitcher starts to wind up, that, that catcher has to have his glove open. See, right now, as I'm speaking the word of God to you, faith is coming. But you have to be able to receive the word and choose to step out and walk by faith. How do you do that? F-A-I-T-H. You step out on what you heard. You step out on the word because God's word is true and it cannot fail. Faith is forward action in trusting him. Trusting who? Trusting God. It also stands for F-A-I-T-H. Fear ain't in this house. When you're moving forward, don't have no fear. Don't look back. Don't look back unless you plan on going back. All it takes is one word from God to change your life. And see, God want to talk to you. What you mean by that, Demarcus? So recently, my daughter and I, we was at like a playground, right? And it was probably like 30 kids with their parents out there. And all these kids were like getting all on these slides. There's probably like 10 different slides. A lot of stuff to do out there. And so I was kind of hanging around where, where my daughter is, you know what I'm saying? Staying a good distance, you know what I'm saying, to where I could see her at all times. And I, and I heard a little small voice like she went through the, it was she went through this little tunnel so so she could go down the slide right there. Right. And see, when she do that, I normally go to the end of the slide and I wait on her. And I, you know, what I'm saying so I'm that when she get out. But I heard a little voice from that tunnel. It's about four kids in the tunnel. I heard a little voice say, say, saying, Daddy. And, and look, I was able to over talk everybody out there and say, yeah, I'm right here. Go ahead. and slide. Go ahead. and slide. I'm, I'm right here. Now, watch this. In the midst of the 30 different voices out there laughing, people talking, I was able to still hear my daughter's voice. Why is that? Because of how much time I've spent with her. I know her laugh. I know her cry. I know I, I, I know what syllables that she struggles with. Like, I know everything about her because I spend time with her. And see, what God wants you to do is to spend time with him. So that in the midst of all the distractions and all the voices, all the things that happen throughout the day, you're still able to hear his still small voice. God wants you to call him and talk to him. See, God's God's phone is open 24 seven. Because the word of God says God neither sleeps nor slumber, meaning God doesn't go to sleep. Right. God works the night shift. That means his phone is open 24 seven. God is not like man. Cause you know how man do man to put his phone on airplane mode. <laughs> man say, man, forget y'all. Y'all can't call me right now. I don't want to be bothered. Man, man to turn the phone off. God ain't like man. God is saying to Marcus, anytime, anytime you want to talk, listen, I, I provided you my word right here. The written word of God, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. His word, his word says his word is a lamp to my feet, a light into my path. That's why I love getting in it. Cause God wants to give you direction. It got me. God wants to give you direction. He wants to give you clarity. That thing that you've been so confused about. Let me tell you how powerful the word of God is and how it could change your life right now. If you wanted to chop down that tree right there, what's the first thing you need to do? I'm going to put you on the spot. It's a pop quiz. If you wanted to chop down that tree, what's the first thing you need to do? You need to spend about 30 to 45 minutes sharpening that axe or else you'll be out here all day. You got me? You need. You have to spend time sharpening it. And see, that's what God wants us to do. You spend all your time sharpening in terms of getting in his word. How y'all doing today? All right now. He wants you to spend time getting sharpened in the word so that throughout your day, you'll notice the trees falling. The different things that's weighing you down, the different things, oppression, suppression, depression. There's different things that weigh you down. These things, how y'all doing? The, these things, all right now. These things, they start, to, they start to fall down. What seem like mountains in your life, now they look like ant beds. Why is that? Because you done sharpen yourself in the word of God. 
How do you call God? Let me. Do you know what God's phone number is? Man, I'm about to put you on game. You know, you know God had a phone number. Man, I'm about to put you on game. God's phone number is three three three. Man, you don't believe me, huh? You don't. You don't believe me. How you know that to be true, Demarcus? <laughs> In Jeremiah chapter thirty three, verse three. God says, call on me and I will answer you. I will speak to you and I will show you things that you have not known. So here it is, God of the universe, of the whole world, of everyone who created me, cared enough to tell DeMarcus right here. DeMarcus, if you call on me, I will talk to you. I will speak to you. And I will teach you. With revelation knowledge, I will show you things that you have not known. <laughs> Man, I love God so much. I love God so much, boy. Ooh, ooh. God care about me. Oh, man, that made me feel so good. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like running a mile right now, man. I love spending time with God. That's why I love talking to you and just reminding you about what God is showing me. Because the revelation, it does so much for me to where I can't keep it to myself. That's why I started making these videos. I remember I used to get two views on my video. Wasn't nobody listening, but I ain't care because I was on here talking to myself. I would take my videos and play them back and listen to them. And I'd be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey God, God, good. Like, I mean, the, in the Bible, David said he encouraged himself in the Lord. You have to learn how to encourage yourself with the word of God. You got to learn how to open it up. Good morning, y'all. All right. You got, you got to get into that word and read it to yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I will spend time with God today. Because that's right. You're going to spend time with God today. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? All right, doing good. Thanks. Because time spent with God is never time wasted. It's an investment into your spiritual piggy bank. Demarcus, why you got a little bottle of ketchup out here? Because we about to catch up with God. We're going to get in his word. We're going to open our ears and say, Lord, I choose to catch up with you today. In the midst of this. How y'all doing today? All right. In the midst of this busy world, I'm choosing to catch up with you. My ears are open. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, God, love that dog. Oh, we're going to spend time with him today. Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. In Jesus' name, we pray. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.